Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to run database migrations with ECS. All right, so this is actually pretty easy with this tool called UFO. Now, UFO is a tool that does three things. It builds a Docker image for you, and then it registers that Docker image as the ECS task definition, and then it ships off that uh, task definition to ECS, so it runs it as a service, an ECS service. Now, um, that command to do that is called UFO ship. Uh, <laughs> But uh, that's for long running processes. That's what ECS service is, is a long running process like a web service or a worker service. But in this case, we want to run a migration. To run a migration, we just really want ECS to run one task and then be done with it. And uh, the command to do that is actually ECS run task. But for uh, UFO can wrap, wraps that command around with UFO task. So this is the perfect uh, use case for it, to run one task and then be done with it. So the command for that is UFO task. This is the ECS service name. I'm calling high dash web for my application. Then you pass dash dash command and then any arbitrary command in here. In this case, we happen to be running rake db migrate. So let's show how, let's demonstrate how this works. Okay, and jump into the project here. This is a Rails project right there. Here's the migrations. I just created one for the sake of this demo. Okay, and then now UFO tasks, um, UFO task high web is the ECS service name command then it would be rake db migrate. So that will build the Docker image. That's what it's doing right now. So you can see it building the Docker image right now. Next thing it should do is should start pushing the Docker image. We're going to see it soon. There we go. Here's the push command. It just successfully built it. And now it's kind of pushing the layers. Um, next it should do is should uh, register the ECS task definitions. There it will go. It built the task definitions, then register, and then it says right here, Running tasks with container overrides, command, bundle, exec, rake db, migrate. So what does that mean? Normally, uh, you ship a Docker container, and this Docker container that we're shipping uh, has its own, um, let's, let's just show it to you, output highweb.json. So this is the task definition that uh, UFO just built and shipped. And see, the command is usually bin web. It's just a wrapper command that starts a Puma or some web service. Um, but we want to override it. So what we did was we override it with the uh, UFO task uh, on, on the fly. So in order to see what that override looks like, you can actually describe the tasks uh, right here. So I'm gonna use a task with the ARN that we just saw up here. See, it's, it spat out the ARN. So I, I copy and paste onto my buffer. And uh, this cluster is the stack cluster. Okay, and there you see it. So here's the task and you, you see the container overrides and you overrode the command with bundle exec rate db migrate. So let's actually verify that this got ran. Uh, we can go on to CloudWatch. If you set up CloudWatch, which I have, and kind of refresh right there, you can kind of see it. Create table it is already done. Basically, while I was talking, I guess it refreshing. It showed like the time 6.15, and this ran two minutes ago. So it successfully ran the database migration, and that's pretty much it. Uh, the UFO task command makes this a pretty simple task now. OK, um, here are some resources, how to run uh, migrations on, on ECS and other one-off tasks. There's a blog post for this, and that's what this this is what this video is based on. This blog post. There's also uh, official documentation on the UFO ship site covering a single task. So here's the single task. You can run any task you want, and also covering the very specific database migration uh, task. That's pretty common. Okay, and that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found this helpful. If you found this helpful, be sure to share with your friends and subscribe. If you have any questions or video suggestions, comment below. If you need any DevOps help, check out BoatOps. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.